Hello everybody, a recent forum question brought up the topic of moving shapes whenever you want to insert a step in a flowchart and a lot of you might not be aware that Visio 2010 actually helps you do this. I've been using Visio 2010 for over a year and I started to forget about this, that it's a new feature, a new exciting feature, but if you're on an older version of Visio and you're tired of selecting all your flowchart shapes and moving them out of the way to make room for new shapes, you might like this. So let's start up a new basic flowchart to uh, demonstrate this. So we'll start with the new in Visio and we'll go to the flowchart category, just double click and just choose a basic flowchart. And you can see that uh, I've got the shapes menu collapsed here. I can expand it using this uh, arrow here. And we'll just draw a generic flow chart. And we can drop shapes like this, select the blue areas and connect them. We can actually just mouse down and select from some of the top shapes av available. We can add shapes over like this. Visio 2010 has this nice little quick um, mini toolbar here that allows you to select some of the, the top shapes that you're likely to use. We'll just do generic processes most of the time. You can also drag and drop shapes over from any part of the stencil like this and you can use the the connector tool to connect them up as well like you might be used to in older versions. So we'll just keep doing this for a little bit more. I like the, the little blue arrows that make it a lot easier just to go quickly. And if it's kind of getting messy, you can click the auto align and space button and straighten everything up, everything up for you automatically. Now, say we needed to put a step right in here, and this is where the problem comes up that the user was asking about. Uh, normally, you'd have to select all of these and move them out of the way, and that gets to be a pain, especially if you're if you're zoomed in and you can't quite get to all the shapes. You're saying, "Well, God, I got to zoom out, pan, drag all these shapes out of the way to make space for the new one, break a connector, etc., etc." Well, in Visio 2010, it's a lot easier. You can just take a well, let's take a, a unique-looking shape. I'll take this custom 4 shape and we'll just drop it right on there. And you can see all the shapes slid out of the way just like that. Again, we can do it in any direction. You'll see the two red highlights on the connector say, oh, he's going to cut me. He's going to insert a shape and cut the connector into two connectors. So Visio not only slides the shapes out of the way in the proper direction, but it reestablishes the connections in the right order as well. Now, while we're on the topic of re-establishing connectors, you'll notice that if I select a shape and delete it, the incoming connector also goes away with it. Like that, you can see Visio deleted that uh, decision diamond and then made the connections go to the previous shape in the flow chart. So that's really nice. Uh, you'll notice that if I delete, say, this shape, two connectors become one, but Visio doesn't presume to slide the flow chart back together again. So there's no contraction involved. There's only expansion of the entire flow chart. So you can see when I delete that and delete that, Visio is maintaining the connections intelligently, but it doesn't contract the flow chart. It only expands the flow chart. So that's a pretty exciting feature. And that's probably just, if you're doing a lot of flow charts, that might be worth the price of upgrading just that alone. And this feature is available in all the editions of Visio 2010, whether you're buying standard, professional or premium. So if you like this video, you can find more information like this as well as 37 videos if you buy my book using Visio 2010. You get, you get a printed book, but you also get access to web content online that has 37 videos, 11 audio files, and access to the online version of the book as well. So that's using Visio 2010. Hope you've enjoyed this video.